Hi, this is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog. Today we're going to talk about Winterboard. Now I know a lot of folks use Winterboard in order to add custom themes to their iPhone. In fact, it's one of the top reasons for jailbreaking. But one of the problems with Winterboard uh, is that sometimes you'll notice that once it's installed, your text labels for your apps, the names of the apps itself, are kind of uh, grayed out, uh, so to speak. They're, they're no, there's no shadows to speak of, and they are the names of the apps themselves are gray. So it's kind of hard to see, depending on your uh, wallpaper, especially with the stock iPhone wallpaper, it's really hard to make out the names of those apps. So how do you fix that? Well, the first thing you can do is open up Winterboard, and you'll see an option for select themes. So you want to go to select themes and then you want to enable white icon labels. So I'll enable white icon labels and I'll just hit my home button and it should automatically respring your iPhone. Once you're back to your iPhone's home screen you'll notice that the text is a lot more legible now. It's actually uh, white uh, which of course makes sense since it was white text labels that we enabled. So now the text is a lot more readable, but it's still not on par with the way the stock icon labels look. You can kind of notice, maybe you can see here, that there's no shadow effects for the, uh, the icon labels. So how do you go about fixing that? Well, there's one quick method that you can use to fix that, and that's by editing the property list file of that white text label theme. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now there are many ways that you can edit files on your iPhone. The way I prefer to do it is by using iFile. There are other ways to do so. You can use uh, OpenSSH. You can SSH into your phone and um, edit the files that way. So there are many ways to do it, but I'm going to show you what I think is one of the, the easier ways to go about editing the property list for your iPhone. Now the first thing you want to do is go to iPhone download blog and you'll see this post which is corresponds to this video now you want to go down here to where it says copy the following text using mobile Safari so I'm just going to copy this text and this text is what you need to add to your property list file uh, for that um, white text labels theme so I'll just copy that and I'll go out of here now what I'll do is I'll open up iFile and it's here all right. Now the first thing you place you want to get is your var stash themes folder. Once you're in your var stash themes folder, you're going to see the white icon labels theme, which is down here, I believe. There you go. So you just want to open up the white icon labels theme, and then you should see an info.plist file. So you just want to tap on that. Then you want property list viewer. And now you should see the HTML text or the XML text uh, for the property list for the white icon labels. So now you just want to tap edit and then everything between the dict, D-I-C-T um, tags you want to delete. So now I have it replaced, if you can make that out, with the text that I copied from iPhoneDownloadBlog.com. So now I'll just hit save. All I need to do now is just respring my iPhone. Now I'm back to my um, home screen, and as you can see, the text now has shadows. It looks almost exactly like the stock um, text labels for the iPhone. It's maybe a hair off, but it's you're not going to notice it. So it's really close to the uh, stock look for the iPhone as far as text labels are concerned. So don't be afraid to use Winterboard if this was something that was kind of preventing you from doing so. Hopefully this was able to help you out and you can go about theming your iPhone the way you want it to be. This is Jeff with iPhone Download Blog.